what a difference a few days makes. I was only up here last week uh, doing my hot tent camp and there was still a lot of green, still a lot of leaves, but it's just gone so yellow and brown now, it's beautiful. Love seeing these changes. I was just walking in a minute ago and a mushroom fell out of a tree which I'm going to guess was a uh, squirrel dragging it up there to dry it out because they you leave them hanging up in the branches for the winter. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to cook some lunch today. Um, I've got the big cooking stone with me and uh, I'm going to do some fajitas, uh, steak and chicken fajitas, a little bit of veg and um, I think I'm going to make some salsa and guacamole as well. So I've just got the fire going here. Uh, just going to relax for a bit and warm through, it's a little bit chilly here, and uh, start prep. This is my tortilla mix. Just had some flour and salt, a little oil, and uh, some hot water. So I just knead that, let it rest for a minute, and then make some tortillas in the press. So first off here I'm going to uh, chop an onion. Oops. <laughs> Then just a little bit of garlic, a couple of cloves should do. Got a couple of chilli peppers here. I'm just going to de-seed them because the texture is not great in a salsa. and some tomatoes. Finally some coriander or cilantro depending on where you are. The easiest thing for a guacamole is just take your avocado, slice it all the way around, twist it so you can see the stone, and be careful because they can be slippery, but you should be able to just, oh, I <laughs> went a little hard there, twist it out. But I've now broken it up, there you go. And it's quite easy just to scoop out you know. Just give 
give them a quick chop. And into a little bit of salsa that I've kept. And then you just mix that avocado in with that little bit of remaining salsa that you haven't removed. And you've got a guac. Just prepped some peppers and some onions for cooking. And you didn't think I forgot the lime for the salsa and guacamole, did you? Because of course I did. Right, the stone's warmed up, so it's time to put it on. And I haven't got any gloves with me. Which is very unusual. Probably because I cleaned my truck out. So firstly, I need to just cook through my tortillas. Okay, so I've oiled the stone here. I'm just going to put on the chicken. So I'm going to go on with some peppers and onions. Lovely colours. Time to hit it with a sirloin steak. Taking the stone off and just warming through the tortilla. A little bit of coriander. Just going to give it all a squeeze of lime on here. Okay, I'm going to load this one up with a little bit of everything. Grab some of that salsa with my tongs. And some guac. I do have some sour cream, but I don't think I need it. Oh, that's hot. Right, it's quite stuffed. They're not the biggest tortillas in the world. I love fresh salsa. It's just so easy to do. Just about to hit that beef. Mm. Tender. Tender. Nice sirloin. If you like this kind of cooking, check out my Birious Tacos video. I was quite proud of that one. I'd never cooked it before and it's absolutely lovely. 
This is good, but Birria's tacos, lovely. Mm. I'll put it up at the end of this video. But that's the first time I used that tortilla press. That was amazing, <laughs> I really needed that. It's probably getting on for one o'clock and I only had a breakfast bar this morning. Oh, such a nice day out here as well. This is just my weather, autumn, love it. It's cold enough to appreciate a fire. <laughs> Not too hot, really nice. Got the odd gust of wind just blowing the leaves out the trees. Perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll uh, stick up the link for uh, the Beerus Tacos, I suggest you check it out. Not enough people saw that video, that food is lovely. And uh, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time, goodbye for now.